So uh, welcome to the Morris Federation's series of online workshops during lockdown. And uh, my name is Pauline Woods-Wilson, and we also have Jenny Everett here uh, from the Morris Federation hosting the event. And um, today we've got Georgia Shorrock um, from Hadrian Clog teaching us clog stepping for beginners week two. So over to you, Georgia. Lovely, thank you. Well, hello everybody, and hello again to those that have joined for the second week. Hi, I know there's um there's also a few <laughs> few new ones here today. So um, what I'm going to do is last week, if you remember, we learned first of all the basic shuffle, and then we added in some steps. We did the step brush hop, step heel, and the sixes one and two and three and four and five and six so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a minute or two of shuffling just to get everybody's feet warmed up and then we'll have a little recap of last week's dance steps and then we'll move on first i've got three new steps for this week um building on what we did last week so i'll just tilt my, my screen down so you can be able to see my feet hopefully okay some step shuffle step 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 shuffle step step so we're going to start on the left and shuffle on the right one two three step shuffle step step Lovely. 
lovely. And the third step we did was what we call the sixes. You step on the left and it goes one and two and three and four and five and six. And you sort of point that foot on the sixth one. Try it again. Two, three, one and two and three and four and five and six. Yeah? Try that with the shuffles. One, two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step. Here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six. One and two and three and four and five and six. One and two and three and four and five and six. Finish to the left. Do the whole thing off the right foot. Yeah, almost. Yeah, good enough for jazz. Shall we try all of that once with the music? Yes? Have a go with the music. Here we go. I'm repeating the art. Go with the music.
screens have we got now? Wow! Everybody alright on screen number two? Yes! On the number three? Yeah, good. Lots of thumbs up there. Alright, on number four. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to move on, teach you some new steps. Just go back to the beginning. Of right, so every step that we're going to do always starts with a step shuffle, step, step, step shuffle, step, step. Okay, so that's a little bit of a breather whilst you're doing that thinking, oh, crumbs, what comes next? Okay, so always, always start step shuffle, step, step. Okay, so step number four, I'll just show you how the step bit goes, okay? So can you see me, right? So I've done the two step shuffle, step steps, and you jump with your feet together, you hop on your left, and take your right foot over to the other side. So it goes like this, watch a minute, it goes, and then of course it'll go the other way, so I'll show you the whole step together with the shuffles, it goes, so there's a little pause after that jump, and to start with, if we're starting on the left, you go to the left, with your other foot to start with, okay? So just try that jumping on the spot and tapping on the other side, okay? One, two, three, jump, tap, tap, jump, tap, tap, jump, tap, tap, jump, tap, tap, Okay? So that's what we do with the shuffles. If you get the hang of that, there is a Rolls Royce version of this step. And as you go across, you can click your heel with your toe. So watch me a minute, it goes. But for now, when you're starting to learn it, forget about the, the click. And just do the hop tap. Yeah? So let's do a few more of those together on the spot. One, two, three. my music. Ok, 
Okay, so we're just going to try this step. Two shuffles, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step, and then jump together. Here we go. All right. Yep, good. There's that little pause. After you've done the jump, you pause a minute, pop tap, jump, pause, pop tap. Yeah? We'd like to do that step once more. Right. Here we go. Same step. Here we go. see when you get to the shuffle off at the end what do you, do you go to the heel or the toe after the brush or off that foot heel you, uh, it's a very definite heel yeah right. Step, brush hop, and plant your heel down and keep your toe well off the ground heel in front, toe off ground thank you yeah so your toes sort of pointing up as much as you can that's great thank you okay anybody else any little queries Oh, silence. Silence is golden. That's lovely. We'll go on to step two then. Well, it's actually step five, but it's today's step two. So, slightly confusing. We did um, a sixes step, a step number three. Now, step number five is a sort of a sort of sixes as well, because it's got six beats in it again. But I'll show you how the beats go to start with. The actual step, step left, brush across as if you're going to do a brush hop, but you don't hop. So it's step, brush, and then you've got a foot in the air, so you're going to do a toe heel. Just have a little practice for that. Here we go. Two, three. Step, brush, toe, heel. And the last two beats you're going to do with this left foot that's on flat on the ground, you're going to go behind you. So just try that slowly, step on the left, brush across, straight into a toe heel and then a tap. Okay, let's just do this slowly. One, two, three. Step, 
brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. Okay? Once again, one, two, three. Step, brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. And of course, we're going to have to do it off the right foot as well. So let's practice it because it feels like a completely different step when you try to do this one off the right. So you're going to step right, brush across with your left foot. So you're going to go step, brush, toe, heel, tap. Off the right again. One, two, three. Step, brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. And once more off the right, just for luck. Here we go. Two, three. Step, brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. Now there's one little tiny added complication to this step. Is that when you've gone this way, step, brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. This foot at the back, you have to step on it to get into your step shuffle step step so you've got to do like a little spring backwards so you've got to sort of go to get back onto it can everybody see that oh yeah i can see my feet yeah so i'll just show you once more so it's step brush toe heel tap tap step, 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 step. okay it's ever so easy to put the wrong foot down at that point so you've got to spring back onto that one Let's try just doing the step. Um, no, we'll put the shuffles on at the beginning as well because it's easier. You can get that spring back thing as well. So we're going to start with the left with shuffles and then try that. It's also got six beats in it. Here we go. Step shuffle. One, two, three. Step shuffle. Step. Step, step brush. Step brush. Toe. Heel. Okay, how's everybody doing with that? Any questions? Was a question? I can't hear you, Sue. You maybe need to go a little bit closer. Could we do that again, just to set it in our, mi our minds? Oh yeah, I'm going to do it a couple of times, and then we'll try it with the music as well. Great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what's that? What's that step called? Well, what's that step called? Yes, um, interesting. What's that step called? Well, we just call it sixes again as well, but it's very confusing when you've got two sixes. So I suggest you find a name for it. Sixes brushes or brush six or something like that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're a bit random with things like that in Hadrian Clog. And, and, and quite often we, we learn a new routine and we go, all right, what should we call this one? Or what should we call that one? So I think you should be able to just have your own, your own aid memoir, you know, whatever makes you remember what's coming next. That's fine. <laughs> so, okay, we'll try it once more then without the music, off the left and off the right, yeah? And then we'll have a go with it with the music. Right, here we go. Okay, do it nice and steady. Starting stepping on the left. Here we go. One, two, three. Step, shake.
actually we call it two taps <laughs> but find your own name that's fine two taps is what we remember it by um right should we give that one a go with some music then yes see how it fits with the music right here we go that should be a go so we're going to start the step we'll let's find the music back to the beginning here we go this one to see how it flows one from the other so you get that feel of going from one step to the next yeah uh, can we do four and oh yeah that's what we're just gonna do now yeah well done good suggestion yeah okay here we go so we're gonna do jumps and then into this one two taps I think we'll keep calling it two taps I think uh, should we do the music yeah here he comes oh no 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 sorry I'll just take it back to the beginning here we go then you've got the whole routine. Is there any questions at all? Just uh, shout them out or put them in the chat or whatever. If you put them in the chat, I'll have to put the glasses on. <laughs> Not. Some people are dancing in wrapper shoes because that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
We do several dances that are just hard chew dances, particularly things like the, um, the Shetland dances and the Scottish ones. And we do a dance from Cape Breton and that's just done in hard chews. Um, so yeah, it's the only thing that makes it easy. And then if you progress and you feel you want to in clogs, go and have a look at Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, oh, what well, is it you have to say about But other brands are available. Other brands, yeah, I'm sure our clock makers will be glad of the business at the moment because they're all struggling. So they yeah, can't go yeah to... any clock makers will be. Yeah. Mm. Howard's clock did a little workshop the other day on how he made his clocks. Really fascinating. Was unstable. Is everybody seeing me all right? And no, you're, I'm not breaking up a bit. you're breaking up a bit, Georgia. Yeah, I'm finding that the the music and the stepping are just very far apart for me. You try turning your camera off, Sheena, because they they were in sync for me. So you oh, right. try okay. turn your camera off for a bit and see if that makes a difference. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, there we are. Is it okay then, Sheena, when we sort of do it without the music? No, even then, it's like the stepping and the shuffling is fine. And then when you go to the next bit, your legs are stationary, in my view, but I can hear your clogs moving. So clearly you are dancing the step, but all I can see is two stationary legs. But I'm getting by. Oh. We will, once again, I'll record it as a little video and I'll put it up and um, I'll put it up onto our Facebook page, but also Pauline will send it out to you. So you'll have it to um, do in your own. That'd be great. And did everybody get the music? Sorry, go on, Jackie. I was just going to say, will there be any chance to practice um, after we've finished these lessons? Um, what do you mean? To play, to do the dance with some people <laughs> well you don't you in west you're in westmoreland clock aren't you yes are yeah. you having your own meetings jackie oh yeah but i play for them so. oh you play oh i see no, <laughs> you want to I dance go. jackie yeah. i'm happy to catch up sometime if you want to and you can give me some fiddle tips as well and i'll teach you some clogging <laughs> okay that's a great swap i've also got some five size clogs for sale in red but they're um, they're not fully lace up. I'll go and get them and show you. Oh. I don't want to lock. Joe, go upstairs and get them. But with social distancing, we can't clog in groups at the moment. No, no, that's right. It's only on Zoom, yeah. It's yeah. A shame, isn't it? And somebody's put a message to me, but I'm not saying who it was. One said that they do border, and they had no idea that clogging was such hard work. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> And I think that's great. That's why like, when I first started, because I'm I'm new to this as well, and it makes you appreciate just how hard it is, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I still haven't quite mastered it, and I've been doing it for like 45 years now, so I'll get there one day. <laughs> and of course, it just depends how much you practice. The more you practice, I suppose, the better you are. Mm. Right, we'll wait for Jackie to come back down then, and then we'll start on step number six. Then we're through to the end. Yeah, I think someone's uh, I've put in a question about Simon Brock. Yeah, he was quite busy, but his order book was getting shorter and shorter and shorter because of not going to festivals. So he may have caught up by now with all his orders. So he needs to carry on getting orders. As we had to wait nearly a year for our clogs in York. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. wait longer if you ask one from Trevor Owen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, there's a message for Jackie there as well. Yes, she's back. Yeah. A, me a message from Helen saying, we have other musicians, Jackie, so you can dance if you want to. Thank you, well done, Dan. <laughs> I've got a question from Anya who says, um, during the jump, do you need to keep the heels off the ground, Georgia? I don't practice. Yes, when you eventually get up to us, you know, a dancing a little bit faster than we're doing now, the jump would just be onto your flat, sort of like balls of your feet, no heels down. 
because as I mentioned when you can do it when you come to do the jump to one side you can click your heel with your toe I'll show you what I mean I'll try and do it a little bit faster can you see that all right I would go you need to not have your heels on the ground so that you can click them as you go over but don't worry about that now <laughs> that's uh, for next week practice that next week right let's go on to step number six shall we oh there's a question georgia just before you move right. on. that the brush in five leaves the planted foot stationary as you go to the toe here where's the brush in figure one yes yeah you're absolutely there's no hop in that one where you brush over I think, I think this is what you mean. In the actual step, you're going step, brush, no hop. The step, brush, toe, heel, tap, tap. Whereas at the end of each step when you're doing the break, it is a step, brush, hop. And then a heel hunt. These are my clogs, by the way, if anybody wants to buy them. Size five. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank right. Um, did that answer your question? Um, who was that? Enid. Oh no, it was um, uh, Cammy. Does that answer your question, Cammy? Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. Let's go on to step six. Then we've got the whole routine. We can try practicing the whole routine. So, you see that? All right. Yes. Okay. This step is the same with a shuffle. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step. You step onto the left foot and you tap with the right foot, but you don't put any weight onto it, so it's just a step, tap. Okay? Step, tap. Then you hop on the left. So it goes step, tap, hop. And with this foot in the air, you do a shuffle. Okay, so that is step. And that's the rhythm. Da, 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 da. Okay? So it goes step, tap, hop, step. Once more off the left. Step, tap, hop, step. And then as with all the other steps, you've got to do it off the right. So when this foot is in the air, you're going to step onto it and start again. Step. Just try it off the right again. Step, tap, hop, shuffle. Once more off the right. Two, three. Step, tap, hop, shuffle. Let's try a few left and right. Okay? Start on the left and straight into the right. One, two, three. Step, tap, hop, shuffle. Step, tap. Now, so you can see how it fits with those. 
So step on to the left. One, two, three. Step, shift, full step, step. Step, tap. Step, shift, full step, step. Another thing just to watch out for in that odd rhythm, the da, 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 you've got to then come back to very even shuffling beats. Da, 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 okay? So remember that when you've got the step, tap, hop, shuffle, step, tap, hop, shuffle, one and two and three, back to those even beats again in the shuffles. But you'll get it. Try with the music. Here goes. Um, this button. as well so that step tap hop shuffle comes into lots of other routines so once you've learned it in one routine when you come to do something else and it's got it in you go oh, yeah I know that bit that's easy so shall we have a look at doing the three steps that we've learned this afternoon I just got one question Georgia yeah it says what is your free foot doing during the hop I think it's just getting ready to shuffle because the hop shuffle is fairly quick together. Um, I, I, if that's what I think what you mean. So I'm going step, tap. Yeah. Is that okay? Is that what you meant? Yeah, that's good. Good, that's lovely. Okay, let's go for it. Let's do the three steps that we've done this afternoon with the music without a safety net so we're going to do jumps is the first one and then the six is step brush toe heel tap tap two taps and then we're going to step tap hop shuffle yes Woo, let's give it a go anybody want to ask anything else before we do that bit that one too many step to learn for my break i know i know what you mean <laughs> Right, here we go. All three steps with the music. Step left, shuffle, and then you jump.
well done that was those three steps probably slightly more difficult than the ones that we did last week but i'm sure you've got the hang of it any questions at all please yes right in the one that we jump i can get the first bit of the jump but i seem to miss the second bit of the jump is it because both both jumps go in the first half of the music and you i don't know have more time in the second half of the that step music do you mean do you mean you find it easier to do it when we're doing it from the left hand side or, or actually putting the second jump in place both sides i can i can do the jump and then come down here but i don't put that jump in i miss that jump out somehow quite quick it's quite quick the thing is you're you're almost like slightly off balance and you've got to jump back onto two feet again so you've got to go so you've gone jump And you've got to spring right back fairly quickly and to jump again. Oh, so it's speed, really. It is, and both feet together as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think if that was what you meant, that that's what it is. Once you put top, put your toe down on the other side, you've got to be ready to spring right back onto those two feet again. I'm having a rest there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Is everybody all right? Anybody else got any questions? Great, I've got lots of thumbs up. Right, here goes. Is everybody ready for the full Monty? Right from the beginning to the end? Yes? Hold on a second, Georgia. Hold on a second. Right, I've got then. a couple of um, questions. In the last step, does the tap go in front or at the side? Just by the side of your foot where it would go automatically if you were going to step on it, really, I think. Let's have a, have a quick look at this. Um, yeah, right, just right next to wherever your foot would normally go down, really. Yep, yep, just at the side. I think a couple of people have asked to go over the last step again, which I have to say is my... You don't try to too much. Don't try to get out too far in front. Don't try to put your key out too far. Keep it all underneath you because it is a bit of a slippy dance if you're on a board like this. Any more questions? Yeah, just last the last one. one. Just the last... Um, I think people are struggling with the last one, Georgia. The last step. Okay, so we've probably got time to do that last step once more. Yeah. And then we'll have a look at the whole thing all together. Yeah. 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 Okay. Are you ready? So this is just the last step. Step tap hop shuffle. It is the hardest step of all the ones that we've learned, so don't worry if you can't get it straight away. Um, take the music back. Here we go. end just on the last step or is it no that's the finish at the end and we would end when you put that final heel down and in a performance we just bring our feet back together side by side yeah so that is the end of the dance yeah quite a nice little sort of challenging beginners routine this I think hopefully you've all managed to get through to the end yeah keep practicing it all the bits will come eventually honest and we'll put them up on the um, on the Morris Federation site and on the Hadrian Clog site. So keep an eye on both of those. 
So, from beginning to end, I'll give you a little reminder. <laughs> the first one is brushes. Step, brush, hop. Step, brush, hop. And then step, heel, step. Step, heel, step. It's the second one. And then the sixes. One and two and three and four and five and six. Yeah. Then the three that we've done today, jump. And then the step, brush, two taps. Step, brush, toe, heel, tap. And the last one, step, tap, hop, shuffle, step, tap, hop, shuffle. Yeah. After this workshop, if anybody wants to know anything or say anything or wants to keep in touch, just have a look. I'm sure Pauline's got my email, but also on the Hadrian Facebook page will come to me. Can I just ask everybody, first of all, to say a huge thank you to the Morris Federation for putting on these workshops because it's just fantastic. And Pauline and Jenny have worked really hard sitting there getting you all on, getting the technology going, fantastic. I, I can do the dancing, but they do the clever stuff. <laughs> right, thank you ever so much, everybody. That's been brilliant. We'll just do the whole dance. Your first performers as clog dancers. Well done. The Zoom clog team. Here we go. With the music. Yep. Then brushes.
very good. Well done, everybody. Well done. Six steps off the left and the right. You've learned in two sessions. That's fantastic. And just fun, everybody. Enjoyed it. I hope you keep doing it. That's the main thing. We right, so it's slightly overrun. So I just want to say a big, big thank you to Georgia who, for teaching us. You can unmute yourself. Would you like to unmute yourself? No. And yeah. Give you a round of applause and give yourself a round of applause. Can you remind us what it's called, that dance? It's called the Lancashire Waltz. Lancashire, thank and you. It's our routine of the Lancashire Waltz. So other people might put some different steps in, but these steps are traditionally from the Lancashire area. And uh, they just you know, sort of, they, they look very slightly different to maybe steps that we would do from the northeast, from our area in Northumberland. Just different style of stepping, but yeah, these are all Lancashire steps, so it's the Lancashire Waltz. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. So, George is doing these for free, yeah. and um, we just asked if you'd like to give a donation to Parkinson's UK. It's in the emails that I sent you. She, that would be lovely. Just as a little thank you to Georgia for running these for us. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh, yes. I hope everyone else has learned loads. I mean, we're not perfect, but it's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Come and say hello if you're anywhere at a festival or a weekend of dance or something. You see Hadrian Clog. Come and have a little dance with us and say hello. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Well, it's been lovely. Thank you. Bye. 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 Wow, what a lot of people. Bye. So I didn't say hello personally to everyone, but bye. Bye. <laughs> so hard on here.